Hi folks, uh, I hope you're doing okay. It's uh, Sunday the 30th of April, uh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon and I realised um, I hadn't done a video for May's book pattern pick so I thought I'd better do one. Um, so let me talk about that first. I'm going to use book Zumigurumi 9. Uh, I was looking through my list of stuff I've got on there. I've got Gertie the Gecko, uh, Taco the Toucan. Did I write anything else down? I think I've managed to put you on the footstool and the footstool is the way around that it rocks. There's only one certain way it sits unevenly and I think that's how I've put it. Amazing. So we've got a choice of Taco the Toucan. Cute. Who else did I say? Gertie the Gecko, which is where I think it might be the first pan. Oh yeah, look so cute. Gertie the Gecko, or oh, I quite like the um, otter. I think I'm going to do Perry the otter. He can be in this grey one. Look how cute. So I think he's my pick, even though I don't think he's on my list. But yeah, so Perry the Otter from Zoom Room 9. He's my May pattern pick. I think it completely went out of my head because I finished April so quickly. And then April, I, I made a lot of stuff early on and I've carried on making stuff and now poof, it's the end of April. I'm like, oh, right. So um, yeah, I will start on. Uh, the otter shortly but i'm in the middle of two projects um one i can get finished up probably today did the majority of it yesterday the other one i can get so far in and i think i'm going to run out of yarn so i've got some bids in on ebay because it's mariners um get cozy i haven't got thought i had another full ball of the cream i'll show you it is a cow pattern by Crochet Grove, I think. It's absolutely flipping massive. Uh, this is because the get coat is quite a plump blanket yarn. I used a seven mil hook on it. The patch should be on the other eye, but because I crochet left handed and go the other way around, it's worked out it's on this eye, this side, but it doesn't matter, it's a patch over an eye. So it's still over an eye, just the other way around. Um, and I've started the body and then that's used up that and that is a complete ball of get cozy and i thought it's okay i've got another one this isn't a full ball and this needs the rest of the body with some color spots arms and legs it's not going to happen <laughs> so i have uh, a bid on someone on ebay there's four balls so i've got a bid on that see i could <laughs> if i don't win the bid or it gets silly money I'll just rip it out and the only thing I'll really lose is these eyes which is I only had one pair of these I think I don't know if they're 30 mil no they're not 24 mil maybe yeah but they were the biggest eyes I had so I will in effect I will lose these eyes because they've already got the backs on but if I can't get the yarn it seems silly to spend a lot of a lot lot of money to get yarn to finish a project when i could just sacrifice a pair of eyes so i will make a cow one of these days i keep going to make them and something always goes wrong the color's off i run out of the color it's just i'm like doomed to never make a cow properly apart from that time i made giraffes and the girl keeps going oh i love that cow uh, yeah i love the cow you sold me on <laughs> it's a giraffe it was a fluffy one. Who was it by? Dream Owls. Dream Owls. Yes. I love it. It works dead quick. It's really nice. It's called a cow. Anyway. So my other project on the go, uh, you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram, is a Timothy the T-Rex. I'll show you the pattern. This is by the awesome Blue Phone Studios. I made a bajillion of them, but they're great. This was, I uh, took Jack and his friends to uh, play area thing, you know, where they climb in and ball pits and, you know, general madness. So I crocheted 
this up during the course of sitting there and uh, a bit of last night. And, but I didn't have enough stuffing upstairs. I was watching the Grand Prix qualifying. Um, yeah, the, sat, the sprint shenanigans. I was watching that. Um, and I didn't have enough stuffing in my tub. So I just left it there. I'll finish the decreases. And then it's legs, tail, and his tiny little cute arms. And they'll be done. So this is using a ball of purple Aran that I think you sent to me. Ages ago. So thank you for that. And where's my purple? It's a red heart. Oh, I don't know it's a red heart. I think it might be one of the Armoni cakes I ordered from Lolly's Little Wool Shack. But like a lavender, lavender? Lilac colour. So I thought they'd go well together. I'm sure I've made one in this purple before. I think it was striped with bright pink. Who doesn't like a purple dinosaur? I have, well, not Barney. <laughs> um, I signed up for, excuse me, HEI, for a craft fair, not at our, uh, Jack's uh, school, at the one I did uh, a couple of towns over. Not last summer? Maybe last summer. Yes, I think it was last summer and then I couldn't do Christmas because it was on the same day as Dovedales. Um, so I was already booked up, but uh, our school doesn't appear to be doing one. Um, I think they're doing one next week for the coronation, but they're not inviting external stalls. And they seem to think, or you know, various parents I've spoken to seem to think they'll do this fair instead of a summer one. So I'll, I'll take the opportunity to do a fair where I can rather than wait and then maybe lose out if they don't do one at all. So, um, yeah, so I think I'm okay stock-wise. I have looked at doing a couple of other local fairs. One in particular is just like the next little village along. But they need you to have their own public liability insurance. So I'm back to the sort of, eh, what do I do? I, I spoke to the barber. Did I mention this last week when I filmed? I was going to speak to the barber because he said his uh, liability insurance wasn't, you know, huge. But his is a specialist one he deals with because he deals with blades and scissors and stuff. So uh, that's not really any good for me. And the craft fair ones I've looked at for stall holders and stuff, uh, still looking about £130 for the year. So, you know, to do one a month, it would, you know, it would work out sort of £10. But I don't do a craft fair every month. So, you know, it's... If I do three a year, it's, it adds a significant cost to each one, if you know what I mean. So, um, I've sort of set aside any that I've got the requirement of public liability insurance. I just, and I, you know, if, if anyone out there uses, uh, you know, has, a, has their own public liability insurance, please, uh, you know, let me know who you use uh, and I'll check them out. Maybe I'm just, you know, looking at in the wrong place, sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, so at the minute I have nothing planned until this one on the 14th of July, 14th? Yes, 14th of July. I did get asked if I wanted to do one on the 1st of July, but we're at a meal, which is the reason I'm not doing the other. Uh, I got offered one, or well, my friend's doing one, 1st and 2nd of July, but the stalls are, sorry my hair's dropping me in my eye. I need to diet here. Um, the stores are forty pounds plus a tape with cost of a table, and it's quite a distance away. And I sort of thought, eh. but then I couldn't book it at the time because we didn't know. We've got a family birthday on the first of July, and there's a meal being arranged. A surprise! That is not a surprise at all because she asked for it um, to be arranged. But we at the time we didn't know if it was the first or the second. And, Paul said he, he didn't want, well, he said if if they change the date of the meal, I'll have to go. And I was like, well, if I've already booked the craft fair, he was like, well, you can't not go to the meal. I was like, so I've ditched that one as well. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I'm probably going to have a decent amount of stock because I'm not doing any sales. I can't get to any or, you know, it's just, but everything's fallen at dodgy times and everyone wants liability insurance. So, shall I just show you some crochet? Let's do that. So, I made this one. I've been making axolotls. And it's whimsical stitch. 
designs or something like that. I think it said on Etsy Whimsical Stitch Creations and the patterns as Whimsical Stitch Designs or vice versa. But I'll link to it below. So this is an old Aldi, well, uh, Aldi blanket yarn and then I think this is the same. I think this is the older purple and this is the newer sort of bluey purple. So there's that one and then I made this one with like a teal and then I used the body purple for these um, they like antenna gills, gills that's it. Um, very cute and then I finished off a pink one the other day. I'd made this is the one or oh, these colours are what I made um, and I think this was the first one I'm, these colours were the first one I made and then Jack sold it to a lady at school just rang me up how much are your axolotls have you got a, can she have a pink one I'll come and fetch it and take it back to her so thanks Jack <laughs> so I have the three ready to go I think they're very cute super sweet yeah and then which was the first so I showed you this frog I made and I wasn't sure if I liked it. So then I made some more and I gave them the kind of mouths that I normally do. And I think I like them more. So there's two, three, and they're super quick. Pattern is by All From Jade. Look at that one, I like him. So I have four froggies and they were all done in the same day. That's, that's so quick, so quick. Um, Yeah, I'm surrounded by piles of yarn now. So, uh, I went out to the shed three times yesterday. What did I go out for? I had to go out and get, I don't know, what did I get? Oh, I took my stuffing out there because I ordered uh, another two kilos of stuffing. And then I went out to get this yarn for, a... so I had a project to take to um, the play area. So I fetched this yarn and I got back inside and realised that I was going out to look for the cream yarn because I knew I'd got, sorry I'm just going to push this back a minute so I'm going to stretch my leg. I knew I'd got another ball of this cream and I'd forgotten to look for it when I went for this yarn. So I went back out again and figured out after looking through every tub, this yarn was in the house already. So I can go and put some of this stuff away. Now my tub is quite full. Where I'm going to put it. It's uh, with making bigger stuff. The top gets full quite quick. There's like there's gonks in there from Christmas as well. So I just keep ramming it in. It'll be all right, won't it? And then I've had a delivery today of oh, me some more safety eyes. These are um, from Amazon, so I'll link to the ones I bought. I can't remember how many pieces it said this was, but. Um, I wanted some bigger eyes because um, I'd used the last of my biggest eye yesterday on the cow. So this set goes from 12 mil to what's in between 16 mil, uh, 18. I think probably get about five pairs each. Two, four, three pairs. There's 18. This one, four, four, 14. 20, yeah, I think you get three pairs of each. 22, which give me a bit more um, option. 24 mil, 26, 28, these are massive, massive, and 30 mil. Oh, proper chunky eyes, these are. I've seen patterns that ask for 30 mil eyes. Jeez, look at them, massive. So even on this cow, I think they'd have been big. <laughs> huge eyes, huge. Anyway, so yes, I think it was about eight pounds something for these, but I don't use, oh, just drop the back. Um, as a rule, I don't use a lot of these sort of big eyes. I did order, I don't know, just some 18 mil and some 12 mils a while ago. Um, then I ordered, 50 pieces I think of 15 mils and all of the axolotls and the frogs use 15 mil um, so they've come in quite handy yeah 
I just thought I'll, I'll top up in case I do any more big things but it appears I just run out of yarn all the time um, what are you marrying Mar Marius? Mariners after clothes I'm very sad mm. anyway enough of that um, I think that's it really so let me know how your April makes went um, what you made, what books you were using, what patterns you followed. Um, if you have, um, sorry, blooming footstool. Uh, if you have Zuma Gurumi 9, have you made anything from it? Have you made the otter? Um, I don't know if I'll get onto anything else out of the book because the gecko and the um, toucan are really cute, but it doesn't look a massive, really complicated pattern. I think it's the head and body attached. No, the tail and body is attached. That's all one. Then, so I need the tail and the body is one piece. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight pieces for the body, head, ears, feet, claws. I might be talking myself out of this. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have a proper look through the pattern and see how big it gets. It's like the head at its widest part is 42 stitches, so it's not huge huge yeah. I need to go pick some yarn as well so stay tuned I am in working in this book if you know if my plans change I might I'll put it on Instagram or something but I'll definitely do something from Zuma Karumi 9 um, I've got a whole month to do it it'll be fine it'll be fine so I'm going to leave it here see if I can get this uploaded today so it's uploaded in April how is it the end of April already I don't, I don't know I don't know where this year's gone. I've been so busy with work. Crackers. That's good. It's just, oof, you know. I get to the end of the week and I'm like, where did that week go? It's just unreal. <sighs> but yes, so Jack and Tobin are at the... No, Jack and Paul are at the park. Tobin is upstairs, got a sore throat, doesn't feel very well. But we're off tomorrow for a May Day bank holiday. Yay. And then we're off next week, next Monday, because it's the King's coronation on been coronated on Saturday the 6th which is mine and Paul's anniversary 20 years this year which is madness um, but we're going out for a meal but we're not going out Saturday because of the coronation in case it's um, mega busy at the pub I don't know I don't know how people uh, in general are feeling about it I haven't really heard anyone say that they've got you know, street party plans or anything like that um, we won't be watching it not that fussed, you know. Not particularly got anything against the royal family, just not really fussed. Um, so yeah, we'll, so we'll get the Monday off the 8th as well. And then I think we've got a full week at work and then I think the end of May we get bank holiday as well. Yay! <laughs> and then nothing till August and then nothing for the rest of the year. So yeah, April, May, it's like bank holiday central and then nothing I think you're one in July or something end of July and that's it until Christmas anyway so I'm going to start waffling um I'm going to check the chicken I'm going to make some soup Spanish potato soup which has got tomatoes and paprika in it so we'll see how that goes sounds nice um so I hope you're all well uh I hope you're having a nice weekend if you've got a long weekend like we have or you're in the UK uh, and you've got a long weekend. I hope you have something nice planned or just enjoy the extra day off work. Um, we've got a bit of sunshine at the minute, so rare for a bank holiday. Next door I've got a party for their daughter's birthday. So I hope it holds for them because they've got the table set up outside. Like 15 people are going. Ooh. I'd be scared to make food for that many people. Or have that many people around. Or know that many people. <laughs> know that many people that know where I live <laughs> right I'm going um, take care I will see you again soon bye guys